Guys, when it comes to bow hunting, your broadhead choice is critical. There are certain features that I look for in a broadhead that I really like in this new Sever 2.0. First of all, my favorite feature is the practice lock. And as you just saw, you can actually use your very same broadhead that you're gonna hunt with to practice with. Practice lock has a, a little set screw that locks the blades firmly in place, does not dull them in any way because none of the uh, blade edge is actually exposed when you shoot. If you wanna know that my broadhead's gonna hit where my practice point hits, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Great feature on the Sever 2.0. Now, the 2.0 was updated this year. It was a 2.1 last year, and the uh, Sever engineers realized, you know what, we could shave 0.1 inch blade width and get 15% more penetration. So this was already a great penetrating broadhead. Now it's 15% better than it was even last year. Another feature I look for in a broadhead is I want a big cut, and here's the reason. A broadhead kills a deer with hemorrhaging. The only way to do that is with a really nice big cut. You can punch a tiny hole in a deer and it's gonna run forever. This baby is gonna open up a nice big hole that doesn't get clogged up as the deer runs away and gonna give you a good blood trail. It actually cuts bigger than 2.0 because of a feature called stretch cut. As the broadhead hits, you can see it kind of pushes in. Well, a deer's hide kind of folds around that initial impact point, so it cuts more surface area than actually 2.0 inches. So again, you're gonna get a super big hole, easy blood trails, and uh, you're gonna find a lot more of your deer uh, with a Sever 2.0. Another thing I like about the 2.0 is the lock and pivot technology from the Sever. Now, I'm gonna open one up here for you. Um, this one I do not have the set screw in, so I'm, I'm able to open this one up. And this is a rear deploying broadhead, by the way, so you, get, you don't get deflection. All right, so lock and pivot, when, that, when those blades come open, I can put pressure on there, they, they do not fold back in. Another great thing about this broadhead is when it strikes a bone, the blades can actually pivot around that obstacle so you don't lose your penetration. It's fan, like, e even if you strike a bone almost dead center, it's gonna deflect a little bit to the side and those, those blades are gonna pivot and then when it clears the obstacle, the blades are gonna center themselves again and keep giving you that great big cut. So that's a huge advantage. The Sever 2.0 has a titanium ferrule, which I really like for its strength and its lightness. Another great thing about the Sever 2.0 is it's a super crossbow broadhead. If you've had worries about using an expandable out of a crossbow in the past, it's probably because a crossbow can cause an expandable to open prematurely because there's so much energy at that initial trigger pull. The way this is designed with the pivot point almost near the very end of the broadhead, it actually encourages the blades, the inertia encourages the blades to stay in. So there's no worry, this thing's not gonna open until it actually impacts the deer. Um, so it's a super crossbow broadhead. Sever broadheads are only available at severbroadheads.com. That's S-E-V-R broadheads.com. The 2.0 is available in 100 or 125 grains, and you can order any quantity you want. One, three, five, seven, whatever makes you happy, you can get that at severbroadheads.com.